Did you know that Five Below carries $5 underwater film cameras? Okay, so here is the camera in all its glory. It's not actually $5, it's actually $5.55. Uh, so Five Below, it's false advertising, but we'll uh, let that pass. I think it's pretty cool to be able to buy a camera at a store for five or so dollars. It is interesting, some of the packaging on here. Uh, it says it uses F8 28 millimeter, five millimeter film, which is sold separately. I have no idea what that means. I think what happened is the designer got the 35 millimeter film confused uh, with the description of the camera itself, that it has an F8 lens, 28 millimeter lens. They somehow got it mixed up thinking that the film is a uh, 28 millimeter film, which I've never heard of 28 millimeter film. It's kind of a weird format, but let's unbox this camera and see what we get inside for a measly five bucks. Okay, we've unboxed the camera and humorously enough, this is identical to the Kohl's underwater film camera that I reviewed last year. It's probably from the same exact factory, just doesn't have the same branding. Uh, but yeah, it's a 28 millimeter fixed focus lens. It's got this cheap underwater housing. And then inside it's basically just a very, very basic 35 millimeter point and shoot camera. But I've decided for this camera to demo it, I am not going to uh, shoot underwater shots. I already did that last year. If you want to see that video, you can click the link in the description below. For this video, I'm going to take it out of its underwater housing. And I'm just gonna treat it like a normal point and shoot 35 millimeter film camera. I'm gonna put some slightly expired 400 ISO Lomography film in it. Uh, just take it for a spin, shoot some summer shots, and uh, we'll see what it can do. And these photos turned out about the way I expected. It's a very soft lens, soft edges, and the focus in the middle isn't that sharp either. The camera works pretty well for lo-fi landscape shots like these, but it's not great for focusing on closer up detail. It's definitely not a selfie camera. You can see I'm completely out of focus in this shot. And even for subjects farther away from the camera, like a group portrait, it's not great. I found I got blurry focus on subjects even like 10 feet away from the camera. But for farther away subjects like cityscapes and this bridge, you do get a serviceable image. Again, this camera is pretty much what I expected, a super lo-fi camera that's great for creating dreamy lo-fi images. It's a fun pocket-sized camera to take with you to capture the weird world around you. And it works pretty well to help me capture some lo-fi summer-themed snaps. Okay, that was a quick look at the Five Below $5 underwater film camera. If you're looking for a cheap point-and-shoot 35 millimeter film camera, you can't do much worse than this. Uh, but I don't know if you can do much better because five bucks is a pretty good deal if you just want a really, really basic point and shoot option. And like I've said in cheap camera reviews in the past, it's just cool that they still make 35 millimeter cameras. The fact that I can just go into a brick and mortar store and buy a 35 millimeter point and shoot in 2023 is pretty cool. So even though this won't win any camera awards, I do kind of like it. Today's review of this cheapo camera is brought to you by photodeox.com. We are a photo and video gear and accessories company. If you are a filmmaker or a photographer, odds are we've got some gear for you. And to learn more, click the link in the description below. Also click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos just like this one. I'm Sean with photodeox.com and have fun shooting with cheap point and shoot 35 millimeter cameras.